Imagine executing 50 crypto transactions all at once with one click. And if any single one fails, the whole thing just rolls back as if nothing had happened. Sounds pretty wild, right? Well, I almost missed this story myself, but it turns out that one of the biggest crypto networks quietly rolled out this exact superpower, and practically no one is talking about it. So let me set the stage. I'm scrolling through our Discord server, the free educational one that we have. The link, by the way, is in the description. And a member pings me. He says, hey, did you see what Hadira just did? Now, I'm a guy that covers a whole lot of L1 blockchains, XRP, Cardano, you name it, right? Especially those projects actually solving real world problems. So a question like that definitely kind of gets my attention. As I dig in, I realize that Hadira Hashgraph, you know, the enterprise focused network that's governed by giants like Google and IBM, quietly introduced an upgrade that could change how developers build decentralized applications. And there's no hype here, there's no flashy meme coin stunts. This is just a solid technical improvement that might actually boost the security and simplify life for a whole ton of projects. And I knew that I had to share this with you guys because it's the kind of real innovation that often gets lost in all of the noise. But first, time out for just a second. I need to drop a really quick disclaimer to keep things all legit and of course, YouTube off of my back. Now this might just shock you, but I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile and you could lose all of the money that you invest. You should always do your own research and consult a qualified professional. After all, your investments are entirely your responsibility, and you should know that nothing is ever guaranteed when it comes to investing. Neither I, this channel, nor YouTube are liable for any losses, and this video today is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Alright then, so what exactly did Hadira do? Well, they rolled out something called batch transactions under an upgrade known as HIP-551. Now, don't let the jargon scare you off. The idea is actually pretty straightforward and pretty cool. It lets developers bundle multiple actions into a single transaction that goes through all of the all or nothing kind of approach. Essentially, you can mint tokens, transfer some coins, update some settings, all up to 50 different operations, and then just package them together so that they either all succeed as one unit, or if any one step fails, the entire bundle is cancelled automatically. In other words, no more half-completed transactions leaving things in a weird state. If one part of the operation hits a snag, everything rolls back like it never actually happened. Now this upgrade massively improves the integrity of the transactions and the consistency of data on Hedera. You know, which is a pretty fancy way of saying it keeps things clean and safe for everyone using the network. And it's built right into Hedera's core services, not as a smart contract add-on, right? So why does all of that matter? Well, on other blockchains like Ethereum, if a developer wants to ensure a bunch of actions actually happen atomically, meaning that all or nothing, then they usually have to write a custom smart contract in order to coordinate it. That's extra work, more code to even audit, and even more chances for things to mess up. Now, Hedera basically said, we've got you. We'll handle that at the network level. This simplifies developers' lives by reducing the complexity and the execution risk for multiple step processes. Okay, let's toss this into a real life analogy then, because you know, I love those, right? Think of a batch transactions, a bit like SpaceX rocket launch sequence, right? A rocket launch has dozens of steps that need to go just right, fueling, engine ignition, etc. Now, if a critical step fails, well, the system aborts the whole launch, right? So you wouldn't really want a scenario where the engine ignites, but the clamps didn't release right. And it's either full launch or no launch at all. There's nothing in between. That is for safety. Now, Hedera is doing that 
but for blockchain transactions, right? If one fails, the whole thing must abort safely. No partial launch disasters on your crypto platform. Now, to the actual use cases of this. This is kind of where I started getting a bit excited, because Hedera basically took tasks that used to need complicated workarounds or even whole smart contracts and made them as simple as just calling an API. Now, for example, creating what is called a soul bound token, a token that can't be transferred, used to be pretty tricky. Right, you would have uh, to have an unfreeze an account, send the token, then refreeze the account just to lock it all in place. Now, if you mess up any step, that token might actually move when it's not supposed to. But when Hedera's new batch transactions, or at least with them, you can do that entire sequence: unfreeze, transfer, refreeze, in all, all in kind of one atomic action. Now, the network guarantees either the account gets unfrozen, the token moves, and then it's frozen again perfectly, or if one step fails, none of it actually happens. That means there's way less risk and manual checking. The whole process runs atomically, cutting the risk and building trust across the transactions. It's kind of like the system is saying, okay, either I did everything on that checklist or I did nothing. No in between states to really worry about. Another example then would be compliance and KYC, you know, your know your customer stuff. Right, picture a scenario then where a token is only supposed to be held by verified users. Now, in the old way, maybe you would approve someone's KYC in one transaction, then transfer them the token in another, and then later, if something went wrong, revoke their access in yet another transaction. But there was always a chance in between all of those separate steps that something could slip through the, you know, the cracks. Well, now Hedera can handle that in one fell swoop. You could approve a user's KYC, do the token transfer, and immediately revoke their permission if needed, all bundled together. So if any part doesn't check out, none of it actually executes. There's no loopholes where an unverified account can sneak assets out during any potential delay. And it's not just the token stuff. Right, they even mentioned that you could mix different types of operations. Right, imagine updating a data record, right? Hedera calls them consensus topics, right? And then moving some HBAR tokens in the same atomic transaction. It's kind of like multitasking, but on steroids for the blockchain, right? Different actions, one fail safe transaction. So, why should anyone outside of developers really care about this? Well, it's because it means that the apps that we use, built on Hedera, can actually be more reliable and secure behind the scenes. There's no more worrying that a multi-step process glitched out halfway through and left your funds stuck in limbo. Now, for enterprises, let's think banks, supply chain platforms, whatever, this is actually a very big deal. Right? Hedera is basically saying, hey, you can trust us for your mission critical processes. We won't screw it up halfway through. Now, it positions Hedera as an even stronger choice for teams that need fast, reliable platforms in a decentralized setting. And I do have to point out, this is the kind of thing that gets me way more excited than some random meme coin promising that it's going to the moon. This is a concrete improvement that solves real world problems. Now, remember how I always kind of harp on about utility, right? Well, this is that playing out in real time. There's no flashy marketing behind it. It's just a solution for a pretty long standing headache in crypto workflows. Let's also talk about limits for a second, right? They have capped these batches at 50 operations in one go, and the whole batch can't get more than six kilobits in size. So, right, you're not going to be breaking the network by shoving the entire kitchen sink into a single transaction, right? They found a pretty sweet spot that keeps performance smooth. 50 actions is plenty for most real world cases but also not enough to kind of abuse, right? And if you're curious, yes, 
Each of those actions still has to be individually authorized and it pays in its own fee. It's just bundled together. So if the batch fails halfway through, you still pay for the steps that were attempted. Hadira's got to be fair to the network nodes, right? Now, when I first heard batch transactions, I'll admit it sounded kind of dry, right? I was kind of like, okay, they batched some transactions together, big whoop. But then it kind of clicked. This is like giving developers a cheat code, right? Instead of juggling a whole bunch of separate actions and hoping that none of them fail or get exploited, they can now just hit one button and either everything goes perfectly well or it just never actually happened. Now, fewer moving parts, fewer things to go wrong, and for someone building, that is pretty huge. Now, you might be wondering, does any other chain actually do this? I mean, atomic transactions, they aren't a brand new concept, right? Ethereum folks will say, we can do it with smart contracts. Just write a Solidity function to do multiple things in one go. It's true, but again, on Ethereum, that is additional complexity. You're writing custom code. You're paying gas for each sub-step. Plus, you better be ready and be really careful, I should say, in that kind of code to handle any of those errors. Now, Hedera is offering this natively, means that it's available to any developer using their normal API calls. There's no custom contracts actually needed here. So think of it as Hedera kind of baking a feature in by default, right? Baking this feature in by default that other networks leave up to developers to figure out separately. It's a different philosophy, right? It also lowers the barrier to building safe and more complex applications. And given Hedera's reputation with enterprises and those big corporate council members, it actually aligns with their style, right? Stability, security, no nonsense. It reminds me that Hedera is not trying to be the hottest DeFi playground. They're just aiming to be the independable, right? Or at least the indispensable and the dependable backbone for serious applications. Kind of like how Cardano focuses on academic rigor, right? Or how XRP targets banking use cases, right? Each has their own domain, right? Hedera is like, we've got the enterprise grade toolkit ready to go. On that note, this upgrade even hints at even more coming. The team has talked about maybe allowing even larger batches further down the road, and even combining this with scheduled transactions. Just imagine setting about a batch or at least to execute at a future date and time, a bit like a timed multi-step trigger. Now that could enable some pretty wild automated workflows, like an entire sequence of actions that could execute exactly at midnight on New Year's. For example, all atomic, all or nothing, right? And I can already see some developers' wheels turning with creative ideas. Now I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. This is pretty cool tech, but is it going to pump my HBAR bags? Well, honestly, as of me speaking, HBAR's price hasn't skyrocketed on this news or anything crazy. It's actually been a bit down lately after the big crash, right? Probably because the market overall's mood has been a little all over the place. And that's perfectly fine. Not every innovation immediately is reflected in the price, especially if it's more behind the scenes, which, by the way, is why it's so important to always do your own research beyond just the price charts. None of this, of course, is financial advice, remember? One of the reasons that I run that free educational Discord and break down topics like this is to help everyone see the much bigger picture beyond trading hype. Whether it's Cardano tackling identity solutions, XRP streamlining cross-border payments, or Hedera making developers' lives easier, right? these are the developments that might actually stick around and deliver value in the longer term. Let me also mention something practical that I do, right? Because whenever I discover a cool update like this Hedera one, it often inspires me to tinker or maybe even acquire a new token to test things out. And inevitably that leads me to exchanges, maybe to grab a little bit more HBAR or whatever. 
Now, over the years, I've learned a key strategy here. Always have multiple exchange accounts at the ready. Seriously, because you never know when one exchange might go down or pause withdrawals, and you don't want to be scrambling at the last minute. Now, I personally sign up KYC if needed and test out as many reputable exchanges as I can, just so that I've got plan A, B, C, and even D in place. And if one exchange suddenly has issues, right, I can just hop on over to the next one to access my funds or make a trade if I need to. It's actually saved my skin more than once. So quick alpha for you guys. Check out the link that's in the description where I list all of the exchanges that I personally use. Now those are affiliate links on my website, meaning that if you do sign up and trade with them, it supports the channel here at no extra cost to yourself. And I really do appreciate that by the way. Now I'm talking about platforms like LBank, Kraken, Blowfin and BitGet among others that I trust. Again, totally up to you but I do highly recommend being prepared with multiple different options, especially if you're as deep in crypto as I am. Now, as we kind of wind down this little adventure today, here is my big takeaway, right? Sometimes the most game-changing things in crypto, they aren't the loud announcements or the price pumps. They're the quiet upgrades that actually make the tech even better. Hadira's batch transaction feature is exactly that. It addresses a real pain point with a real solution. It might not make headlines on every news site, but you can bet that developers are paying attention. And in the long run, it's improvements like these that could actually set apart the platforms that thrive from those that fade away. I started this video with that little tip from our Discord that led me down a rabbit hole. And you know what? I'm really glad that I followed it because it reminded me why I got into this space to begin with, to find those nuggets of real progress amid all of the noise. Now, if you made it this far, then I hope you found this as interesting as I did. In fact, let me know in the comments below had you heard of Hedera's HIP-551 upgrade before? Or was this news new to you, right? I'm curious how this actually got on the radar, right? Oh, because how on the radar, in fact, this actually is for the wider community. But if you have enjoyed coming along with this little investigative journey with me, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what happens next in the story of crypto. There's always another development in crypto and I'm always here working on the next story. So until then, stay curious, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.